Hi, hello, and welcome to another Inkwell craft session with me, Bev. Um, now, today I wanted to show you some crocheting. Um, it is one of my favourite hobbies, and I have recently pulled out the crochet hook and started crocheting a cardigan. Have no fear, though. Um, today um, I'm going to show you how to crochet a dishcloth, face cloth, whatever you want to use it for. Um, I don't like using wipes <clears throat> that you have to dispose of. I'd rather use a dishcloth at home and then I put it in a high temperature wash and use it all over again. Um, we also use flannels for the little one and I tend to use them on my face as a hot, a hot flannel. Um, so fairly diverse this little cloth that you're going to make. Um, so you are going to need some yarn. Mine's just dropped on the floor. So this is some cotton double knit <clears throat> uh, yarn. Um, it is a good idea to use cotton if you can. Either that or bamboo, uh, which is lovely and soft. Um, Cotton is hard wearing um, uh, and it tends not to irritate your skin either, uh, whereas some wools or acrylics um, can be a little bit hard to wash, um, especially at the hotter temperatures that you'll, that you'll need to wash your, your cloth at. Um, so, I mean, whatever colours you've, you've got hanging around um, or that you choose to buy. Um, for my cloth, I had a little bit of... of rainbow cotton left so I've, I've just jazzed it up with a little bit of a rainbow stripe there in the middle and um, the crochet hook size that you're going to need is a 5.5 and um, so again you're going to use a, a double knit yarn and a 5.5 hook uh, you'll also need a darning needle to tie in the ends um, and a pair of scissors as well. So this crochet tutorial, um, I'll be taking you through two stitches, which are a chain and a single crochet. And um, these are two of the most easiest stitches um, to do when you're crocheting. Um, and the way that we do it creates this lovely, um, what they call a linen stitch here. Um, so without further ado, um, I will switch my camera around and show you how to make one. Okay, so here we go. We need to chain 42 stitches. So I've got my yarn here, my shorter end here in my hand. I'm going to wrap the yarn around these two fingers just hold it safe there with my thumb and then I'm gonna get my hook I'm gonna pop it through this yarn and then I'm gonna grab this long end here with my hook and I'm gonna create a loop there and then I'm gonna pull the long end and the short end with my thumb to create my knot there So I'll do that again for you. So I've got my short end in my hand. I'm going to wrap that around my two fingers, cross it over here and hold that with my thumb. I'm going to put my hook through that hoop and then I'm going to grab that longer bit so I've got another loop here and then I'm going to take hold of both the short end and the long end and I'm just going to pull that knot tight now everybody holds the yarn differently I hold the short end in my hand and the longer end hooks over my finger um, and then I'm ready to start chaining then. So, this doesn't count as a chain on your hook. You need to start counting from this first one. 
So you've got your hook, you need to wrap the yarn around your hook and pull that through. So you've created your first chain there. So that's chain one, chain two, again, hook through that loop then and you've created another chain. And one more time to grab the yarn with your hook, pull through and then you've created another one. So I've got three chains here now. I've got one here, one here and the last one here. So I'm going to carry on doing that until I've got 42 chains on hanging off my hook. So that's what you should sort of have by now. So the next step now is to single crochet into the fourth chain on the hook. So we're going to count them here. We've got one, two, three, four. So I'm going to chain just into the one loop here. And I'm going to pull the thread round. So I've got two loops on the hook. And I'm going to pull the thread through those two loops. So that creates a single crochet. Also creates a little hole there in the end. Now this stitch that we're going to use today is the linen stitch. Um, it's quite an easy stitch. It uses single crochet and chain um, and it means that you don't have to, apart from this first row, really you don't have to go into these chains. What you'll be going through is these holes here, um, but I'll show you that in a minute once we've done this first row. So we've done a single crochet and now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to miss a stitch and I'm going to go into the next stitch. So again, chain into that next stitch. Sorry, single crochet into that next stitch and then chain one. So I'm going to skip a stitch single crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip a stitch into the next, single crochet into it, chain one. And I'm going to continue that until I get to the end. So, when you get to the end, you've done a single crochet into that last stitch, into that last chain. And then what you want to be doing is to chain two. So one, two, and then you want to turn your work. So now you're gonna go, you're gonna work across here. So I've changed chain two. And then I'm going to single crochet into this space here. So I'm just going to put my hook through that gap, pull it round, two loops on the hook, and pull the yarn through those two hoops. And then I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to miss this stitch, and I'm going to put the loop through the next hole. Pull the yarn through, so I've got two hoops on the hook, and then pull the yarn through those two hoops, and chain one. So again, this is my gap here, I'm going to pop my hook through there, pull the yarn through, I've got two hoops on my hook, pull the yarn through again, and chain one. And you just want to continue that then until you get to the end. So when you get to the end, 
find your hole in the end, single crochet into that hole, and then you want to chain two again. So we chain one and two, turn the work, and then you want to find that hole and you want to single crochet then into that hole. And that's your pattern, you just keep on going. So, here's another one that I've had going for a while now. So you can see how the linen stitch is making up. Um, now if you are new to crocheting um, and you're quite happy just going along in the same colour, that's fine. I would like to add some more colour to my dishcloth um, and I'm going to do this by adding a stripe here of a different colour. Now I've got some scrap of some other cotton yarn here. Um, this is um, a rainbow coloured yarn. Um, so um, what you need to do then if you want to change the colour is when you get to your last stitch, I want to single crochet through my hole. So I'm going to pull the yarn through so that there's two loops on my hook. And then to create the stitch, you would usually, I'd usually use this to pull through. But because I'm changing my yarn, I'm going to replace this with my different colour. So I've just wrapped that around my hook there and I'm just going to pull that through. I'm going to keep my short end to the side and then I'm just going to pull down gently on both of those yarns just to tighten up here and to tighten up your old stitch as well. So I'll do that again for you. So we're going to do a single crochet. So I'm pulling my yarn through here. I've got my two loops on the hook. I'm going to get my different coloured yarn Hook that on, pull it through. I'm just going to move the shorter side to the front here out of the way. And I'm just going to pull down tightly on those just to create some tension there. So now we're going to create our chain two, as the pattern says. And then we're just going to carry on now with the new yarn. So single crochet into my hole and just carry on then with your pattern. Now, as you crochet along, you could be weaving these two ends in. If you are new to crochet, one thing that I always used to do would be to tie these in a knot and then just to weave them in later with a darning needle. So I'm just going to cut this end off here and I can get rid of this other yarn. So as you can see, I have a good size dishcloth or flannel, whatever it is that you're going to use this for. Um, I've got to my last stitch here, which was a single crochet through the hole. And then I'm just going to finish it off. So I'm just going to do what they call a slip stitch. So one, one loop on the hook, hook your yarn round and just pull it through there. Then you'll want to cut this end. And just pull that through. 
and pull it tight. And then what you'll have left to do then is to uh, weave these ends in then with the darning needle. And then it's ready to use. <laughs>